Hello there. Okay, let's get serious about something. So, how many times have you been scammed in crypto? Now, that could be through being scammed by clicking on a link, or that could be by a rug pull. I'm really interested to hear how many times this has happened to you, if it has happened. Let me know in the comments below because I'm curious. I want to know. Now, I've been in a few projects in 2022 that have either, uh, you know, either the liquidity has just run out and so they've gone down, or the developer has actually pulled the liquidity. Ones that have just totally scammed and rug pulled and just disappeared. Now, some of these projects have actually, not some, a lot of them have just recycled and they've started again, right? Now, these projects offer some incredible daily returns, like, you know, of course people are going to be enticed to go in them when some of them, you know, pay up 8% or 15%. But the problem is, is that if you've been in the space long enough, you know full well that these are not going to last. Now, they will last as long as there's new investors coming in. As soon as that stops, then you can see if you know how to track wallets, you'll see that the liquidity starts going down. And when it gets to a certain point, they decide to pull it, right? And they, they keep everything that they've taken from you. And then what they do is they rinse, repeat. They create another project and the same thing happens. Now, I know firsthand that there were as many projects that have gone down this year and they're all connected. They're all connected, and this was easy to see. I haven't publicly told anybody about this or released any information about this, but I did some digging after a lot of these went down, and there's one particular wallet that a lot of these projects were uh, being... Uh, all, the, all This wallet was actually used as the funding wallet to pay a lot of the withdrawals, okay? And this was you know, multiple projects, and a lot of them went down at the same time. I'm pretty sure if you're around at that time, you'll know which ones I'm talking about. It was when the crash happened down to 26,000 uh, Bitcoin crash. So anyway, now let's, okay, we know this, right? This has happened in 2022. Now, now you need to ask yourself, if you're invested in projects right now, how many of those projects do you actually really believe and really have a lot of, you know, trust in that you know 100% for sure they're going to be here in the morning, or even if they're going to be here in six months. I mean, can you actually count how many projects you're invested in on one hand, or even on one finger? How many are actually do you have trust in to, to that level? I can tell you what, there's not many. Now, there's a few reasons for this, and I've talked about this before, but one of the main reasons is that there isn't enough investors in crypto to be able to provide you know, new liquidity and uh, capital to all these projects that are coming out at this speed. Like, if you look at a new project, it'll come out, everybody will come in, you can see the TVR, the total value locked, going up and up and up and up, and then it hits a peak, and then it starts coming down. And that promise, or not that promise, but that, you know, what they say, that 8% that you're going to get per day, it's up to 8%. <laughs> it's not 8% per day. It might get to that, but it won't stay at that. All right. So, you know, and when you've got a bear market like we're in right now, you're not going to be getting an influx of new investors. It's just not going to happen. Right. It, it doesn't happen. Uh, you, you go and have a look on Google Trends. You'll see. You'll see what's happening in the market. There's not enough new blood coming in. Uh, and it's, I know that's a horrible way to say it, but it's true. There's, that's, you know, that's what it is, really. It's new people with new blood coming in and providing more liquidity, you know. And the problem is, is that all these projects that scam, they think it's okay. They believe it's okay, right? Because, you know, I even saw a post by a, a, a project that went down that said, but we've given so many people so much profit that, you know, it, it doesn't matter if we've gone down because so many people have been, have made a lot of money. Yeah, a lot of people made money, but the percentage didn't. And what they rely on is rinse, repeat people that have made money, 
in one to then go into the next one and take that risk, right? Now, like I said, the problem is, is that there's just not a new, enough new investors in this space to be able to handle that. Now, these projects, these miners, all these projects, they rely, right, on people in crypto. That's it. There's no other way of getting investments in, right? So, you know, this creates this creates a real problem, a real money flow problem for the amount of projects that are coming up. It's not just on one chain now, it's on multiple chains. So you've got, you know, Binance, you've got Ethereum, you've got, you know, the, the Binance smart chain, you've got Avalanche, you've got Solana, you know, there's heaps of them. And, and when you start having that many chains and that many projects coming out, it's just spread too thin. You know, there's just not enough people. You know, one of the other problems is that with these project is, projects is that they, when they create them, when they're first created, a lot of these tokens and the tokenomics, X amount is given to the owners, right? It could be, you know, 30, 40, 50%. It's for marketing, it's for this, it's for that, you know, okay. But the point of the matter is that a, a large percentage of those tokens are owned by the owners, right? Now, eventually that's going to dilute the market, right? If the project, you know, doesn't become super successful long term, of course it's going to dilute because they're going to sell off. They're going to need the money. So, the, the, you know, the project will get diluted, right? Now, what the other problem is, is that these projects, when they're released, they have like a seed round or they have an ICO, whatever they have, and you know, large whales come in, large investors come in, and they might, you know, put in half a million or a million dollars or, or sometimes more. They get a shitload of tokens, right? Now, eventually they dump them because they're not going to hold them forever. They're going to want to make money. When they see the price get to X amount, they dump them. They sell them. Okay, that's just the way it works. It happens, it's been happening ever since ICOs have started, all right? So... You've got those two parts of the tokenomics, which is a bad, which is bad from day one. Is that you know the owners that look? I'm not saying the team doesn't need tokens for marketing. That's fine. But what I'm saying is it's still not going to help long term, right? And same with the whales. It just doesn't. If you look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin was mined from day one. There was no tokens. There was no ICO. They they created the market created the pricing for them when they was finally started trading. Because of lack of supply, the price went up, you know, and it's still the same with Bitcoin, right? Because there was never an ICO. There was never X amount of Bitcoin given to that, you know, and given to those whales and all that. It was, it never happened. So the tokens were mined. Okay. So knowing this, knowing that 99% of all the projects in crypto right now are this way, that's the way it is. So what are you going to do about it? Well, you're going to look for things that if there is such a thing, things that don't have an ICO, that, you know, are not reliant on crypto investors in the ecosystem, locked in it, right? So, I mean, if you look around, is there anything like that? I don't see anything like that around, except for one project. Now, I've talked about this in a couple of videos prior. Now, look, I'm not, and you shouldn't be, here to make fast cash because if you make fast cash it's going to be a fast crash all right that's just the way it is in crypto fast cash fast crash so you should be looking at the long term you should be looking at generational wealth all right i know it's tempting to look at these you know five percent eight percent per day i mean it's incredible money but it's so highly risky and you know when you go to sleep at night, it might not be there in the morning. Try, don't try to convince yourself any other way. All right. And, you know, we all know this, but we still do it. But, you know, th this is not going to put you forward financially in the long term. It won't. You're just going to keep getting burnt. And look, you might get a couple of good ones. Now, there are some projects. I'm not saying that there's, there isn't any projects that will make you money because there is. If you're very smart and you time things very well, you can make some good money in this crypto, but the majority of people that are in crypto don't, you know, because they always get burnt. How many new people come in and get burnt and leave? You know, it's just, it's, look, if you're going to come into a project, everybody says, yeah, 8%, you get into it, and then, you know, you put $1,000 in it, and then two days it's gone. I mean, how do you feel? You don't feel good, right? 
So, you know, like I said, all these projects are based on crypto investors in the ecosystem. Well, this project is not. It's not reliant on crypto investors in the ecosystem. All right. It's rely. It's re, it's revenue comes from outside of crypto. The revenue is from real world commodities that are in demand, like oil, like gold, like natural gas, like aluminum, and many others. Now these are commodities that are in demand that are necessity they're a necessity to turning to ticking over the world economy okay and we need them so what better way to have a crypto project that is actually backed by commodities now how is it even possible right you've got to be looking well, how is this even possible so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to show you a, just a little bit of footage now the audio is not so great on this, but I want to show you now that the project is called Debt. And recently, the way that this works is they have mines. Okay. They have an oil rig, multiple. They have multiple sites. They have a scanning technology that can scan the earth in a certain way. It works like an MRI, magnets, throws out shadows. Now, they have a geologist that can actually interpret this data. Now, no one else can do this. So this is unique to this. All right, this is unique to this team, unique to this project. They can identify oil. They can identify natural gas. They can identify water. They can identify gold and other minerals that I'll talk about later on in this video. And they can, they can find it with accuracy. On this particular, I'm going to show you a bit of footage in a second, and on this particular site in Nebraska, they have actually 16 sites, but they're, they're drilling on one main one at the moment. Now, the owner, he's got this 10,000 hectares. Now, he's had multiple people, multiple drilling teams over the years come in and try and find oil, and every single one of them has been dry, all right? This team comes on, uses the scanner, and finds oil. Not only did they find oil, they found water as well, which was even, it was unheard of on this property. And the reason why they need the water is they need it for the drilling, all right? So now they've saved themselves carting water for, from God knows where, from miles away, to the site for the drills. They've got it on site, all right? But this is just one example of how incredible the scanning technology is and how incredible it is to have somebody that can interpret the data from the scanning technology, okay? Because that's the most important thing. If you can't read the data, you don't know what the hell's going on. You could throw that data in front of, you know, many, many, many people, and no one has got any idea how to interpret it correctly to be able to pinpoint targets to where to drill, where to drill, how deep to drill, all right? So I want to, This is, now these, these bits of footage that I'm going to show you is just um, to validate some things, all right? I want to validate the project because it is an incredible project. I'm already invested. I'm already involved with it. Uh, and so are many people that I have recommended this project to. And this is not financial advice to you, all right? This is information that I'm providing on the internet. I'm a YouTuber, all right, that loves to create content. And I'm loving it even more, and I'm getting more into it, and I'm going full time soon. But anyway, that's beside the point. The point is, is that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just providing information on my journey and what I'm doing. Now, if you have issues with investing and you're losing money, you need to consult a professional, all right, and look at doing that and getting investment advice from a professional because I ain't one. But I know what I'm doing in crypto, and I've been in the space since 2015, and I can identify shitty projects and I can ident and don't worry I've been rugged too because I've taken the risk and I've known I've gone into these projects and I know that they've been risky some have been a little bit more sketchy and they've got away with you know they've been a little bit more harder to detect but in general now it comes down to this they rely on crypto investors within the environment to fund them and there's not enough all right full stop this project is not like that the revenue is generated from these 
resources from oil, for example, and then a percentage of that revenue is used to buy tokens. And then when they buy them, they burn them. So, all right. So it, and it decreases the supply and in turn increases the value. All right. I'm going to go into that a bit later. What I want to do right now is I want to validate a couple of things with some live footage. Okay. So while I was actually making this video, I got my hands on a new video uh, that's got good audio. Uh, and it actually shows the entire uh, debt team out there, the CEO, and also the CEO of IX Global. So everybody's out there, the whole crew. Uh, and there's some really valuable information about the project, uh, about the direction, about what they're doing, um, and some information I think that you'll actually find very, very uh, informative, and uh, it will definitely um, help you make a... Uh, a decision that might change your life. So have a listen to this. Hey guys, what's going on? Joe Martinez here. Uh, we're at the Salt Lake Airport right now on our way out to take a flight to Denver, then a road trip out to Nebraska. We're gonna go visit some sites for our debt box partners, Black Gold specifically, to see where the oil's pumping, where it's coming from. Uh, get to talk to the landowners, get to talk to uh, the actual extractors or the miners. So uh, we're excited. It's 5 a.m. here, and um, you know we'll see you guys soon on the rest of the video. We made it to Denver. Woo! Guys, well, we made it out here. We are in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to disclose the exact location, but we're in the state of Nebraska. As you can see behind me, we got our uh, rig. It's up and drilling right now, about to hit the next pay zone. Uh, we got a lot of our friends here. There's an entire team out here of scientists, engineers, landowners uh, to make this project work, guys. So this is the first visit out. Uh, officially want to welcome everybody that's been participating in debt box, the licenses, uh, and any of the future projects what I want you guys to understand is cryptocurrencies meeting commodities and it's time to take things to the next level. So make sure you guys understand, get to know a little bit more about these projects, see the validation, video proof, blockchain proof, whatever it is that you're looking for. Uh, we got a lot, a lot of projects up and coming. Uh, we're right here now validating Black Gold because it's the first project, it's the most mature project. It has some very good tokenomics going right now, but I guarantee you guys, you're gonna see more and more of these videos as we come out with this X node and debt box project as we move forward. So that's it guys. We're on the flat deck of the rig, it's called, and you can see behind me uh, the engineers, the scientists are going through, they're educating the group about the actual technology, right? One thing is to see the rig, the machinery, um, but we have people that have worked in this industry 20, 30 plus years that have never seen the accuracy of the technology, the scanning technology that we're using here at Debtbox to identify targets and opportunities uh, for gas and oil, precious metals. So, I think it's important to understand the value that we bring uh, to this industry uh, and being able to hit a well and not hit a dry well, but hit payload, pay dirt, pay whatever it may be, oil, gas. Um, so it's just amazing to hear all this information. Uh, it's impressive, the machinery here, the experience here. And so uh, it just gives another layer of validation again, guys. So appreciate it. We're gonna get back over here and we'll talk to you guys on the next video.
All right, guys, and that's a wrap. We just, uh, we've been up since 5 a.m., uh, hit the airport, just drove two, three hours out here to this rig, uh, got a great tour of it, met with the scientists, met with the landowners, uh, and heard a lot today, guys, not just of the validation of the actual project, okay? Not just the oil rig behind us, not just the machinery, not just the tangibility, but we heard a lot more about the technology, okay? Um, what I want you guys to understand is this project is based, yes, it's black gold. We're out here. This is an oil rig. They can get into gas as well. But what we learned a lot about today, guys, is the scan technology, also known in the ecosystem as Explorer Coin or Explorer Token. So if you're wondering, like, what does this whole ecosystem provide to these real world miners here, to these explorers here? It is the scan technology. We heard from engineers how they've never seen anything like it before. We've heard from the scientists that have been developing this for the last 30 years. We heard about how they're going to be launching their own satellite into space over the next 10 months and being able to explore and scan more properties in the States and all around the world. So guys, I can just tell you this, this is the beginning of something great. I can guarantee you guys, you don't know what you have in your hands yet. If you're a license holder, all I could say is I'm buying more. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm buying more. Every single day, new projects are coming out every single quarter. If you feel like you messed out on black gold, guess what? We just launched aluminum. We're just launching Explore. Guess what? In three more weeks, next three more months, excuse me, we'll have new projects coming out. So do not feel like you missed the boat. You missed the opportunity because you will have another opportunity. Get involved with Xnode. Get involved with that box and make sure you understand what this ecosystem can do for you. Um, I believe, I truly believe it can create generational wealth for years and years and generations to come. So with that, guys, I want to again thank everybody uh, from Debtbox, thank everybody, all the scientists, all the engineers, the landowners for allowing us to come out here and just validate this project one more time. So everybody in the Xnode community, um, all I can say is this is just the beginning. We'll talk to you guys next time we see you. Hey guys, Travis Flaherty here, IX Debt Global Ambassador, and I am privileged to be here today with the Debtbox co-founder, Jake Anderson. Travis, thanks for having me. Oh, I, I'm so excited. We're coming to you on site. Tell us a little bit about where we're at. So we're at our drilling rig in Nebraska, and this is one of the first rigs that we've put up for BGLD. Um, and it is actually the uh, project that's supporting the token that we have. So exciting. So listen, for those of you that have been following along, I, I wanna start off by asking Jake a couple of questions. How does this really differentiate from what's going on in the cryptocurrency space? Because you guys are really setting a precedence right now with, with the difference between speculation versus tangibility. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, and so, uh, what we really want to do is create something that fulfilled a need that we saw in the industry, which is something that created the excitement of some of these, I guess you call them meme tokens that are out there that have a great upside potential and everybody likes to see that, but also that has something that's backing the project, uh, much like a you know utility token or something like that. But how do you do that? And so what we've created is a unique tokenomics that blends crypto with commodities. And oil was the first one that we went out at. And as you can see here, we're in Nebraska drilling for oil and uh, we've got some pretty sizable deposits here. We're very excited that we uh, hit our first payload and we're going for our second one. And all of the revenues that come off of this, they go into BGLD, we'll actually buy token out of the uh, market and then burn it to never be seen again, which is going to constantly restrict supply and create demand. Well, so let's talk a little bit about, so you see the BGLD right here on our hat. So the black gold licenses just sold out. I've got people that are still reaching out going, can you get me just one more? So black gold was your proof of concept, so to speak. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about just the history of black gold. Yeah, so we launched black gold back in November of uh, 2021. And uh, so it's, uh, we're coming up on a one year anniversary of that. And uh, we started at a price point of five zeros and a one and we're currently trading at about a penny. And so that's roughly a 10,000% increase in value over the course of a year. And uh, so we're proud about that, but that's really not you know, the height of what we're proud of. What we're proud of is we're actually doing something that's changing the industry as whole. And we're getting looked at from a lot of different industries, a lot of different companies, because uh, the backing the commodities with the crypto and tying those things together is something that's never been done before. And uh, so far, it's been really good. 
Well, you know, I want to talk a little bit more about this ecosystem and, and really how you're you're impacting the entire cryptocurrency industry, because let's face it, let's go back and even look at the last bull run that the industry had. I mean, there was a lot of speculation. There was a lot of hype. There was a lot of coins where you had celebrities or influencers that were, you know, tweeting about coins that had dogs or foxes or pictures on them, and they had no purpose no real world value whatsoever. And I think a lot of people got sucked into that. And so, you know, if we look at what you're doing, some would even say that it's kind of like the dollar when it was backed by gold before it was removed from the gold standard. Yeah, similar. And, and, and we know what's happened to the dollar in the last 50 years or so when it comes to the value. So you guys are, you know, I think that the cryptocurrency industry as a whole is really looking for more substance as we move forward to bring in that credibility factor. Um, how do you see yourselves playing a role in that as we move forward? If I could narrow it down into one thing, it's stored value. And that's really the key. Um, anything that's considered, you know, a currency should have stored value. It shouldn't lose 90% of what it's worth over the course of 50 years. Um, so a lot of people during times like this, they'll flee to gold, silver, and some of these things that actually have appreciation and value. And that's what we're trying to create here is the digital format of that. And so uh, our tokens are all supported by commodities and or digitally linked to the commodity itself in the case of gold, silver, and palladium. Uh, but with oil, uh, it's backed by the projects. And so this is one of four rigs that we have that are in the process of either being set up or are currently drilling. And there's many more coming. Well, and to, to have a cryptocurrency portfolio prior to your ecosystem, I have to go out and buy different projects and ultimately hold all my coins in a in a wallet or some type of an exchange, but you guys have really given people the ability to be able to participate in many different projects, some that are moderate risk, some that are a little bit more aggressive. Um, what are some of the projects that you guys have recently just rolled out? So uh, if we start at the beginning, we have Black Gold. Uh, we have a project called Digitally Linked Gold. That's a little bit different. That's more of what you would call a conservative because every token that's minted is actually tied directly to a, a gram of gold. And so um, with that, you have three choices. You can either hold it, you can sell it, or you can redeem it. In other words, every token that a DGL or DLG minor men, so you can actually redeem for the physical counterpart. Now, since nobody's gonna take the physical counterpart of a 55 gallon drum <laughs> of oil, it allows us to play with the tokenomics a little bit differently and give a little bit more of an upside potential. And so what happens there is uh, we have an initial total supply of coin that's allocated. And every time that money comes off of one of these rigs, it goes and buys that supply out of the marketplace and burns it forever, which is gonna constantly reduce the supply, but also increase the demand. You know, basic supply and demand economics would tell you that if that happens, the price goes up. And that's kind of what we've seen. Yeah, it's exciting. So we've got a total of, of five live projects right now. Mm -hmm. Black Gold sold out. Um, you know, one of the things that I am super excited about is, is, is this Explorer project and this satellite uh, that we're working on. Talk to me just a little, because people are really excited about the possibility of, of partnering with a project the first cryptocurrency, to my knowledge, that's gonna have a satellite in space. To my knowledge as well. Um, yeah, and so if you look at the technology that we use for all of our projects, what it is, and the way to explain it in a simple format, is it's kind of like an MRI machine. Um, and what we do is we use a satellite technology to scan the Earth for different metals and different uh, elements. Every element on the periodic table puts out a different frequency or vibration. And we can calibrate the machines to actually look for that and, and hone it down. And in our gold, um, we actually fine tune that to the part where we can actually go out into some of our mines in Africa and we can actually see exactly where that gold vein is going. We know exactly what depth it's at and relatively know kind of what's there. And what that allows for exploration companies and prospectors to do is actually uh, mine in a more eco-friendly way. And so we reduce a lot of the overhead burden uh, for companies that are going out there uh, because instead of doing strip mining or speculation, uh, they know what they have and they know where to go get it. And that reduces the cost to them. So that technology becomes extremely valuable. And that technology is what is the underlying kind of foundation of every one of our projects. And so we use that for oil, we use it for natural gas, we use it for gold, silver, palladium, and we'll use it for everything else coming up. Uh, right now, we currently contract that work through Google, and so we use their satellites in order to do it. But in launching Explore, uh, part of that uh, roadmap is actually to launch our own satellite into space. And uh, we're actually gonna do that pretty quick. That's a lot of fun. So 
You know, I learned something today. 92% um, of the wells that are drilled are dry. And that's not very eco-friendly. No. So, you know, you guys are doing a lot on the eco-friendly side of things to be able to help people to pinpoint these projects with, with incredible accuracy. And that allows them to not only save a ton of money, which is essentially why they would potentially want to partner with you, but it's also great for the earth as well. It is. So they, that box here has accomplished a huge uh, milestone over the last week or so. You just hit how many licenses sold? We just broke 1 million licenses sold. 1 million licenses in 19 countries around the world. In 10 months? In 10 months. Guys, the best predictor of future performance is past performance. Now, with that being said, there are no guarantees in anything that we do here, but I do wanna say this, success leaves clues. And um, I can tell you, I could not be more excited and more proud to, to be aligned with you guys with this project and uh, could not be more excited to see where the next 12 months takes us. So with that, Jake, thank you so much for your time. Travis, for having pleasure. me out here today. I appreciate it. It's been fun. We have a few nodes in this project, okay? Now, the first one was that they created was called Black Gold, and that's backed by gold, all right? Now, this, that Black Gold project has done over 1,000x since November last year, okay? So uh, that's just incredible. So they've got proof of concept. Okay, this project has proof of concept already. They've got the oil, they've got the natural gas, they've also got aluminum in Ghana, they've also got a node called Grow, which is backed by, you know, cocoa and cocoa beans and um, cocoa and soya beans and cannabis even. And they've also got a node, uh, I'm not going to go into detail about the nodes right now, all of them, but they've got one that's actually backed by the scanning technology. All right, now this one is natural gas. Now, the tokenomics, everything is pretty much the same. All right, I'm just going to explain how this works. So the Nat G is a node. Okay, so now the way this works is you get a node. And no, these are not nodes that are like in the current space and all the nodes that you've had in the past and all this. No, <laughs> these are backed by real world commodities. All right, not by people in the crypto space, not by what's going on in there. This is revenue from actual commodities. You've just seen the videos. This is where it's coming from. All right, so Nat G. Okay, so... The way that it works is, is that you uh, have a, uh, you, you purchase a node, all right, and then it starts mining every day. It takes 24 hours to activate, and then it starts mining, and you basically get tokens like to the second, okay? It just keeps mining tokens, all right? Now, if you know like any project, any node project, if you don't know what happens is obviously the more nodes that come online, the re look, the less rewards get distributed between all the nodes for mining. Okay. Now, the way that these nodes, like I said, it's these nodes are backed. So the NatG token is backed by natural gas. All right. Now the way it works is that when they extract natural gas, they sell it, and a percentage of that revenue. All right is used to buy the NatG tokens, all right, take them out of circulate and burn them into a burn wallet. So it's reducing the supply. So every time this happens, it reduces the supply. Now, NatG has already done, I think, uh, from memory, it was around, I think, f between four to 600% already. Okay, and this has only been out for a couple of months. So, you know, anything that's backed by a real world commodity that's in demand, it's a no brainer to me anyway. Okay, so, <laughs> so what you do is you purchase a license, all right, and that license is for 10 years. So you can run a node for 10 years. After that, it's perpetual. So after that, they'll look at it further, but it's in stone. Everything's done with smart contracts. Everything's done on the blockchain. All right. So uh, if we have a look here, okay, so that this this is the NatG token milestones. This is just on the NatG one. I'm not talking about the black gold one, which is already a success. All right. And all the licenses have been sold. There's only X amount of nodes and X amount of licenses that can be purchased for each project. Once they're gone, once they've all been completed, they've all been sold, there's no more available, then they get turned into an NFT. Now, if you don't want to, if you don't know what an NFT is, Google it. But what it means is that in the future, 
if you've purchased a node and all the licenses have sold, they've been turned it's been turned into an NFT, you can sell that node if you want to. Now how much they could be worth, who knows? I mean look, crypto is risky, everything's risky, but when you've got something that's backed by real world commodities, I tell you what, it gives it gives a, a you know a, a thousand percent advantage over other projects. All right. So that gives you the option to sell it, which is incredible. I think it's incredible. So look here, partnered with an ex exploratory company, located reserves, drilled geochem, have active wells. Listed on Pancake Swap. These are on Pancake Swap. These are already listed. Five million in liquidity. Get listed on Centralized Exchange. So, th so these are the milestones. All right. Now, the debt box project has a token that is like the. Uh, main token for the whole project and what you can do is when you get rewards off these tokens is you can swap it for the dip token in the app okay and then you can sell a dip token the dip token i think as of today is around 19 dollars. okay it's got a lot of liquidity uh and you know it's, it's actually a great token to get if you haven't got any if you know where this project is going so you know you have that option to sell obviously if you're smart and you're getting into these projects early, which this is early, all right? Black Gold may have been going since last November, but that's only one project. These projects, are, these projects here are still new. And bear in mind that more licenses that get sold for each project, the price goes up for the nodes, all right? So be, keep that in mind. And also, obviously, the more nodes that are uh, have been purchased and are online, the less rewards. So you got you got to remember that. So when a project... You know, is, is coming out and you think it has prospect, it's probably a good idea to get into it. Not financial advice, but you know what I mean. So, uh, the license purchases. So now, here's the thing. The way that you purchase these is not actually, you can buy them through the debt box, but it's actually, uh, they're quite expensive. And there is a company uh, called IX Global, and what they've done is each time a project comes out, like for example, when Nat G was released, uh, IX Global will go, go in and they'll buy a whole heap of licenses in bulk and they'll get them at a really cheap price, okay? And that enables us to buy them at a cheap price, all right? And uh, IX Global has other options as well, which I'm not going to get into in this video, but that's an incredible company as well, okay? So now they've basically partnered with a debt box to enable this whole feature of being able to sell them at a decent price, okay? So you can still buy them from Debtbox, but why pay extra when you don't need to, right? So that's literally how these work. Now there is there is multiple projects and they all serve different, fun like they all have a different commodity backing them. NatG is natural gas. Uh, look, they've even got, look, here you can see, look, there's all these details. I'm gonna leave links to the white paper for the NatG, in actual fact, Look, there's other projects. My, my advice to you um, is to join our Discord group. Okay, we've got a community Discord group. It's amazing, smart people. If you're new to crypto, come and join it. You'll love it. We help everybody in there. And I put up-to-date information about this project in there. Uh, if you have any questions, look, walk before you run. Don't even do anything now. Don't even, you know, don't, don't, don't get FOMO or anything like that. Just come into the group. Ask all the questions you want. And uh, I will give you answers, as many as I can, as many as I know. And if I don't know one, I'll go find out from the team. Okay, so if you've got any doubts about anything, you can ask the questions. All right, so I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to just sign up. Okay, that's up to you. But before you even do that, if you if you don't even want to do that and you want to find out more, join my Discord group. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description. The point of this is, is that these... These let, actually just let me show you. Let me show you the back office for a minute. Okay, this is on the debt box. Don't go and join the debt box. Don't create an account on there first because then it interrupts what you're going to do with the nodes. Okay, you need to do it through IX Global, which a uh, link in the description for that. If you want to do it now, I I advise you not to do that. I advise you to come to the group and talk about it if you want. But if you want to get into it straight away, I've got a video. I've got videos on how to do that um, that are on my channel. But let me just show you. I want to show you what this looks like, just so you get an idea of how cool this is. Uh, now, I have I have uh, two Nat G licenses, okay, uh, on this account. I have two accounts. I've got my wife's account and I've got my son's account. Okay, now on this account, I've got two 
Nat G licenses. I have two Alum nodes, licenses, which are for aluminum, which, by the way, I think is going to be incredible. They're visiting the aluminum site that they've got in Ghana next month. And the first burn, they call it a burn. I forgot to mention that. So what happens is every time the revenue, I did mention this, but I'll just explain it a little bit further. Every time the revenue is pulled, for example, the natural gas, okay, is pulled out, they sell some, the revenue from that is then used to purchase the tokens, the NatG tokens, and then they burn them. Okay, this is called a burn event. Now, if we look, just before I even show you this back office, I'm just going to go to the news and I'm going to show you what happened here. So if we go to here, okay, you can see here, NatG burn notice. Okay, so this happens usually once a month, and these could get bigger if they've got more NatG, right? Think about it. The more NatG, and if you've just watched that video, you know how much they said they've got. All right, so this was for, I'm not even sure how many that is, 22 billion, million? But anyway, the equivalent to $13.68 million of tokens was purchased for 0. 0.0006. Okay, was purchased. That amount of tokens was purchased, 13.86 million, uh, 68 million, and then was burnt, gone forever, reducing the supply. All right, so let me just come back to the dashboard. Okay, so this is back office. I just want to quickly show you this. All right, now, uh, here you can see this is all the current nodes that I've got available. Black Gold is one that I told you about that's actually sold out. That's the oil-based one. Uh, the DLG is actually gold-based, all right? It's a little bit, it's more of a conservative play. It's actually backed by real gold. So if you want to redeem your tokens and get gold sent to your house, you can do that, all right? The debt token, the debt one here is no, they're sold too. Obviously, this was the first one. Uh, the price is $19. All right, that is their actual ecosystem main token that you swap all these other ones to for in the app. If you want to sell your tokens, you swap them for the debt token, then you sell that for Bitcoin or whatever you want to do. All right. So the Nat G is a natural natural gas one right here. The Grow one is the one that is backed by cannabis, soybeans, cocoa, all those sort of things, and carbon credits. Okay, now the XBLR, the, this one here is not even, it's not even, look, the, this is how early you are. This one here is still very cheap, and it's not even going to go into full-scale beast mode <laughs> until this, this one here has the scanning technology backing it, the revenue from that. Now that's going to happen, because what happens is they need, the sat, they need a satellite in order to actually scan Right, the Earth, and like I said, it's like an MRI. All right, the way it does, and it projects a shadow on the other side, and they can see all the layers, and they and and the geologist, because he's a smart dude, can actually interpret that data and find out where all the places, where all the the deposits are of oil and natural gas and all that, and then he can almost pinpoint the drilling. All right, so that there, the XP, XP, XPLR node is going to be backed by revenue from that. Now, right now, they're using. The Google satellite, okay, they're using the Google satellite to scan, and each time they do that, one scan costs 75K, $75,000, all right? So what they're doing is they're partnering with SpaceX, with Boeing, and with Google, and what they're doing is they're going to launch their own satellite, which enables them to make their own scans for a lot less, but also to rent it to other companies that want to scan, all right? And all that revenue that is drawn from that, will be used to buy back the tokens and then burnt on that node, all right, the XBLR. So it's an important one. I've, I've invested and I'm buying more of those as well. And then you've got the aluminum node, and that one there is the one that uh, is backed by uh, aluminium. Now I've been in America so long, I'm saying aluminum. But anyway, I used to say aluminium, now it's aluminum. But anyway, it's backed by aluminum, so they have already started for that. Now that is still... Uh, uh, the price of that is incredible still, all right? And that, that hasn't even had a burn event yet, all right? The first one's going to be coming up. The team, the debt team, is going to Ghana. It's going to be footage on that when they're in that mine in Ghana. They're doing that next month, okay? So those are the projects. Uh, now, if I look at my rewards, now, I don't look at price because my goal right now is... You know, while, I, while I've got these right now is I'm just trying to accumulate as many tokens as possible. I'm not selling one, not one, not one until I believe the price is at a point where I think it's worth it, you know, to me to do it. 
okay? And that's going to be a while. This is a long-term play. It's not short-term. So my Nat G one, this is the natural gas one, all right? There's the aluminum one. So I have two of those. I have two aluminum, and I have one X, which soon will... Well, I actually have my son's account, my wife's account, and I have more of these on their accounts as well for them, okay? But if I click on this, Nat G, all right, so that gives you uh, mined last cycle, how many Nat G that I mined, my mining balance. I can withdraw this. Okay, if I want, all right, and I could sell them right now. If that's what I want to do, I could sell these right now, withdraw them, and then in the app, there's an app on the phone, uh, and then you can just sell them. Look, if I go if I go to withdraw, and I put in max, I can withdraw right now. Okay, and that will go to wallet. You've got the wallets over here. That will go to the wallet. So the NatG would go to here, right? And then pancake swap. I click on that. And then I'll be able to swap it for the debt token and then sell it for whatever I want to. Okay, so you've got your own wallet in here. Um, when you uh, first create an account, you don't want to create an account on here. You want to create an account on IX Global, which I'll leave a link in the description. But like I said, come to the Discord group. But you can go to that link in the description. You then create an account on IX Global and you have to get a, um, you get a subscription through them. Okay, which is cheap. You can do it for like fifty bucks, and then you can purchase a node. And then once you've create, and then then once everything's activated there, then you can create an account here, and it will sync up. All right. Once it, once you've created the account on IX Global, it will sync up, because if you try and buy a node directly on Debtbox, it will cost you, you know, forty or fifty thousand dollars. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, if we go to here, I can tell you pretty much. Uh, Nat G right now is about four and a half thousand to buy one of those. The Grow one's about two thousand. XPLR is the cheapest one; it's a thousand. And the aluminum one, it's my phone going crazy. Um, the aluminum one is uh, two uh, two thousand. All right. So look, they're still very cheap. This is still very early. This is a back office. It looks cool. It's got everything going for it. The project is backed by commodities. You're not going to get anything else like this in the crypto space. There is nothing else like this. Look, the rewards don't look incredible. You're not getting 1.5% per day. But long term, you'll create generation wealth from this. Long term, this will this will outperform anything else. If you look at the black gold, and look, it's not a guarantee. Nothing is, right? There is no guarantee past performance will you know dictate future performance. We don't know that. But if you look at all the evidence and you look at all the the, the proof and they're putting what's happening with this project, that it's backed, they've got the resources, it's ready to go, they've already started. You know, what more do you want, right? Why would you invest in something that is reliant on crypto investment, people in the ecosystem, when there's not enough people to do it, we're in a bear market, you're going to invest in a project and it's going to go down. They all do. Not all of them, but 99% of them do. So why risk it? Why not be smart? Get into something that's backed by real-world commodities. You know, that's, I mean, it's just, it's not even rocket science. It's just logical, right? So uh, that's all I wanted to show you. That's all I wanted to show you on the actual debt box. Uh, and, you know, I'll leave links for everything down below. But just, you know, take your time to soak it all in and think about it. And there, I've got a couple of other videos uh, on this. And I've every, all the information you need or want, Come to the Discord group. Come and get it there. Come and get it firsthand. I'm posting, you know, information about this as I get it. All right. Like, like tomorrow, there's an iRise meeting that I've, you know, uh, signed up for. And as soon as that's, you know, complete, or even during it, I'm going to be posting some information in the group, you know, live as much as I can. So I mean, look, uh, take your time. Have a look at all the information. If you do use the link in the description to sign up, okay, let me just show you something quickly here. I'm going to show you something quickly. Uh, okay, let me just show you something quickly here. Now, if you do sign up, okay, if you come to promotional tools and then you come to download resources and you click on that, okay, here it has all the information about the different projects and everything you need to know will be in here. All right? 
everything you need to know. So just go through this. Look, you can preview it. If I click on the black gold and click on preview, it brings up all the information about it. See this? Tokenomics, everything. It's a bit blurry because it's loading because this is a big one. Uh, this is a big... There you go. Okay? So, look, everything you need to know about all these projects are right here. All you got to do is click on preview. All right? So download resources in your IX Global. Okay? Now, if you do sign up and use my link, uh, just I usually check because I need to activate you as well. So I usually check twice, three times, four times a day uh, to make sure that there's nobody that needs activation. Okay, but if you do have a problem with it, just join the Discord group. Come in there. All right, just come in there and uh, and just let me know. You can message me direct. All right, make sure it's me. Uh, and or you can email me at Shane S H A Y N E at Crypto is key, my YouTube name, dot com, Shane at Crypto is key dot com. All right, you can message me there. You can send me an email to activate you. Or if you even want to just send me an email to ask me some questions, right? I can look. I'll help you the best I can. We've been hit too hard in twenty twenty two, my friends. Way too hard. There is too many projects that have gone down. Even the ones that you think won't go down have gone down. You know, but it all comes down to this. All these projects are not backed by anything else but investors within the crypto space and there isn't enough, all right? We're in a bear market. There isn't enough investing. Going, there isn't enough capital to invest in all these projects and keep them sustained. It's not going to happen. With this project, the revenue comes from outside of crypto and it's going to keep coming, all right? So anyway, I hope you liked that video, and uh, if you've got any questions, leave a comment below, and please leave a comment below and tell me, let me know of the ones that you, the, the projects that scammed you, all right, and the ones that, you know, that went under that you were involved in. Let me know, because I'm interested, because, I mean, look, I, I answer every single person in the chat, all right, anyone that leaves a comment, I'll answer them. If they need help, I'll answer them, all right. Have yourselves a wonderful day.